everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for being here we are back with a phlebotomy video okay you guys are reaching out reaching out reaching out you guys are also reaching out for the new content as well so i'm going to try to make it make sense okay because i do get caught up with the other aspect of the channel now because i do it full time i have clients i do it over there i do it over here so yes thank you for being patient with me with that and also for those of you who continuously um coming back you know looking for the phlebotomy content thank you so much i do appreciate that you are here so yes we're going to jump right into this video today because the basics the basics the basics the basic i teach the basics phlebotomy 101 basics okay the order of draw basics and i like that you guys like it i really do i get a lot of comments about how i teach um, how it makes sense, how I make it easy, and I, I really appreciate that. So I'm going to continue to do that, and I'm going to just continue to bring it to you because that is what you guys are asking for, that is what you guys are studying, and I understand, you know, when you go to take the exams and things like that, it's kind of easy to just get distracted with all of the questions and how they word the questions and, and those things, and my whole my intentions are to be here and let you guys know how to not get discombobulated how to not become overwhelmed and that is to stick to the basics because if you know the basics you're going to be able to figure those trick questions I guess if you will you're gonna be able to get through them so yes so sticking with the basic order of draw is sorry pretty much what you want to do at all times. So for those of you who don't know, my mnemonic is be ready, go, greet, laugh, and be great. So I'll give you a second, write that down. Yes, blue, red, gold, green, lavender. If you remember those, have that be a lullaby in your head at night before you fall asleep. Have it be a mantra in the morning before you leave for work or before you leave for school. And you will always, always be okay with order with the order of draw. And when it comes time to draw a handful of tubes, you already know. Blue, red, gold, green, lavender. Be ready, go, greet, laugh, and be great. So yes, I'm gonna jump right into the tubes. I'm gonna tell you the basic test for each one of these tubes. Now the basic test, you all, um, just for that, the basic tests that I mentioned are the ones that I've just come up with because they have seemed and been so basic across the board. These tubes are used for many, many, many different tests. I give you the basics because that's what you're gonna see on your tests. That's what you're going to see in school. That's what you're going to see on the exam, okay? Outside of some other things that, that are going to be thrown in, but as you follow along with me when we talk about the tubes, the additives in the tubes, the order of drop, you're going to figure out where the pink top tube goes or where that dark blue top tube goes, okay? So wait for that because that's coming up later in the week. But for now, we're going to start with the basic tubes, and I'm going to tell you how important the light blue top tube and the red top tube is and how they should be used. And I've been saying this since I've been doing these videos, and now I think you guys see why. So jumping right into blue, red, gold, green, lavender, the first tube we mentioned is the light blue. And you have to be specific when you are referring to your tubes because like I just mentioned, there is a dark blue top tube. So if it's a light blue top tube, please say light blue top tube. The light blue top tube is most commonly used for a PTINR, PTT. Okay, now this is just a recap because I know we just went over this, but you guys have got to remember a lot of people come into the field, a lot of people are going to take their exam at nationals, so this is what they want to study, this is what they want to remember, and this is what needs to be fresh on the brain for passing these courses and classes. Okay, so that's our blue top tube, our red top tube, okay? Red top, you can say red top, just red top, okay? Um, red tops are pretty much universal. You, you cannot mess up a red top. And by mess up, I mean you can't really draw the wrong tube because a red top is pretty much a red top. And lab, as far as core lab, they can work around a 
glass red top versus a plastic red top but we'll get into that as well if you've not seen me talk about or discuss those please check my shorts out in the little short videos there are quite a few videos about the tubes and the additives and like I said we're going to get into that a little deeper as well the red top tube is a busybody but the most common test used the most common test drawn in this tube first I'm going to say a PSA that is the tube that is a test used to evaluate a man's prostate levels his blood levels pertaining to his prostate however in lab in the hospitals and most clinics you're going to use this tube to test for drug levels and when I say drug levels mostly uh, pharmaceutical drugs um, drugs pharmaceutical drugs that are being used for the patient's betterment while having treatment via their primary care and we'll talk about that more as well dilantin level is one you'll see that a lot valproic acid you'll also see that a lot so drug levels and or a PSA so those are two things that you'll see on the exam on your test in school and you'll be able to decipher and say oh you'll be able to choose when you have a list of tests if you don't see PSA and you see a dilantin level bam you'll know it's that if you don't see the dilantin level you see PSA you'll know it's that but we're going to get back to that red top too because it is a busy body but for the most part let's just say PSA and drug levels okay so that's your red top tube be ready the next tube up is the gold top tube this is a busy body also this is by far the busiest tube in the lab as far as being able to run different tests so this is our gold top tube better known as a SST tube because it is, it is a serum separator tube it separates the serum from the blood you can use this tube for many many tests I like to mention the common test as HIV and RPR that is AIDS the human immunodeficiency virus test as well as RPR stands for syphilis be ready go the next tube up is our green top tube light green top tube so be specific your light green top tube is mostly is mostly used for chemistry levels and the most common test you will see this tube being used for is a CP basic and or a CP comp and those are your comprehensive and basic metabolic profiles last but not least is your lavender top tube or purple but in this case for the mnemonic I call it a lavender top tube mostly used for a CBC which is a complete blood count now the reason we don't use our blue top tube for waist top tubes you guys already know you're supposed to use your small red top tubes for waist tubes that's why there's a shortage going on right now of blue top tubes so many were misled and told to use blue top tubes for waist top tubes and from day one I was telling you guys what no don't do that not because they will come up being you know a shortage of them no not because of that it's because it's wrong so Take that to the bank and always use a small red top tube as a waist tube. And we'll talk about waist top tubes possibly in the next video. But if you guys enjoy this one and want me to come back with more, please, by all means, thumbs up, share, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.